What's going on guys? It's Mark with Extreme Edge Custom Kydex and I'm coming at you with a review today of the Bear Grylls Extreme Survival Pro. Alright, so here it is with its nifty little sheath. A little whistle that comes with it. Alright, so let's go over this thing. Your overall length on it is 10 inches with a 4.8 inch blade. It weighs 13.7 ounces in the sheath. With the sheath it weighs 13.7 ounces. I guess that this weighs about an eh, ounce and a half, so you're looking at 12 something ounces alone. It is a full tang blade. The blade starts here in the, the pummel. It's pretty difficult to see on my camera. Sorry about that. Yeah, the blade starts right here at the pummel, runs its lay all the way up, and it is full Tang. Um, and it's got a TPE, TPE or TPC, TPE I believe, or TPC I believe, uh, over handle. Um, let's see here. Now a few different things that they changed on this one is they gave you that nice little cowl there. Put your choke up on. They changed the actual blade. They didn't put any serrations in it this time. Still gave you the little fire striker part. part and, uh, you know, it feels like a much nicer knife. Um, oh yes, and they changed the steel to. Where the heck did I put the name of the steel? Oh, 9CR19 MOV is the name is the the type of steel, which is pretty good steel. Um, all right, so that's the knife. And I just got it in today, and it does have some, you know. I got some heat on it when I was doing my thing, and the, the finish did come off a little bit. So I imagine the finish isn't exactly uh, the best, but uh, it feels a lot better than the original. Now, hold on a minute. I'm going to the sheath here. The sheath. It did come with this little whistle. Cool. Uh, it was wrapped around the lanyard holding the knife. I don't like it. Took it off. Um, now the little sheath here, you got the oh, buddy, that's in there good. The little fire steel, and this time here they uh, added a little notch to help keep it in. See it there, right here. Um, and they oriented it facing upwards instead of downwards like they did in the other one. Uh, another cool feature that they added to this one is this here. Lined you up with. That there, that's a uh, knife sharpener, and it doesn't allow the knife to kilt. So if you're uh, because of the um, the cowl there, the blade runs all the way to the cowl. So once you put it up in here like so, and you pull, it sharpens it pretty good. Um, it's a pretty nice feature and probably the best thing about the sheath. Uh, and then you notice this little tab here. Pull on your little tab, and out comes your Bear Girls survival pamphlet. Okay. Now, uh, the, sheath, the sheath is still made in China, and has one belt loop right here, and your one Velcro right there. Um, however, it does have a nice little, uh, little snap in there. It holds really well. It doesn't really rattle. So, um, and I had good a few customers that are interested in the sheath in this one and they said it took a really good long time for this sheath to wear out on them uh, but it did uh, eventually so I mean they did a much better job on this go around than they did the previous one um, and let's revisit the previous one so we can compare the two um, side by side here we go and you notice that the fire steel is facing up on this one it's facing downwards on this one We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. Um, they appear to be the same size fire steels, just uh, different shapes of the handles. This is the new one, this is the old one. Okay, so they made it a little bit more compact and took some of the finger grip out of it. I guess they figured you didn't need it. Alright, so that's that. And the next thing that we would like to go over is this sheath here has this style locking where if the 
separation here that grabs the, the blade and pinches on it. Um, let's see, yeah, it does go in both ways. Yep. It's universal, it'll go in either way, just like the, the new one. Um, get to the knife in a minute. And it has a sharpener as well, it's just on a fold down piece stuck to the back of the sheath. It's even at a little angle, I never noticed that before. Uh, it does have a nice little diamond plate sharpener here on the back. Uh, so this is the old sheath, and they have that written down on the back, all your survival stuff. And then when you put the knives together... really changed that much. This one looks a little bit different on the angles. And you lost the serrations. Also, this is the mystery steel and uh, coming to anything contact with anything hard with this and you might as well throw it out your window. Um, so all in all, if you had to choose between the old one versus the new one, I'd pick the new one. Uh, now, Gerber had this at their website listed at 112 bucks. I picked mine up for like 70 on eBay. Um, so you can find them out there relatively cheap. Um, I like that it's, you know, uh, it doesn't have the serration in there. You get the nice little cowl to choke up on it. It still has the fire starter and the scraper in the back so you're not messing with the blade. Um, all those things I do like. And I had seen a couple of YouTube videos prior to buying this where um, an individual took a sledgehammer and pounded thing all the way down into a, to a chunk of wood and, and then repeated to beat it sideways out of the wood and it survived it and when he had tried it with this one I mean he didn't even get this far into the wood before he broke it so this one I believe is a much better option if you're uh, having to stick with the Bear Grylls if you're a big diehard fan or whatever um, but all in all I mean I like this one this one's a lot nicer than all the other ones. This one here I would recommend versus all the other pre predecessors, the uh, this model's, this series, uh, rather. Um, or, you know, get yourself the ATS, his original. That was a, that was a really nice knife. Um, this one or that one, those are my two favorites so far. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. They're always coming.